This makes you unreachable to the narcissist. This makes you unable to be reached or contacted. This makes you inaccessible. This makes you not open to advances or influence. You become unreachable to the narcissist when you are no longer of use to them. When you no longer provide an advantage to them. When you no longer provide any form of convenience. The narcissist targeted you because they were aware that you have something valuable and useful to offer them. They realized that you could make their lives more convenient. They realized that you could fit in well with their needs, activities and plans. And they assumed that it would involve little trouble or effort. So for you to be unreachable to the narcissist, you need to be difficult for them to deal with. You need to cause inconvenience and annoyance. You need to be troublesome and difficult with regard to their personal requirements and comfort. You need to cause disruption. You need to become a nuisance. And the most efficient way to do that is to no longer be their source of supply. Stop giving them the attention and admiration that they're looking for. If they're trying to put you down or insult you, don't try to defend yourself. They will push for a reaction, whether it's positive or negative. But if you don't give them what they're looking for, you will no longer be their source of supply. The narcissist will then lose interest in you. They will get bored. They will become wary and impatient. And they're just not going to waste any more time with you. It's no fun for them to waste time with someone who isn't validating their false self with someone who isn't making them feel special or important. Narcissists are arrogant and entitled. They expect you to see it as a privilege to even be around them. But if you don't see it that way, you become a hindrance to what they're trying to accomplish. You become a problem for the narcissist. And they just won't want to deal with you anymore. Narcissists want to control you. They want to have the ability to influence your behaviour and direct the course of events. But they cannot accomplish that in a fair or honest way. They have to manipulate you. They cannot gain control over the situation without having to cheat or achieve a unjust, an unjust advantage because they lack the required qualities and abilities to do that. Which is why they can seem so arrogant and entitled. They display an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. They believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. But 
but really it's nothing more than a robbery because they didn't earn it there wasn't an, an equal exchange of value although you may have been led to believe that there was because they were impersonating whatever they thought you wanted to see They were pretending to be something else for entertainment and fraud. They engaged in deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. They act arrogant and entitled. They unjustifiably claim certain accomplishments or qualities. They intentionally give you a mistaken impression. They deliberately cause you to believe something that is not true for their own personal or financial gain. Which leaves you feeling like you got robbed. It leaves you feeling like you were cheated out of something that was valuable or important to you. Whether it was your time, energy or money, you feel like it could have been spent better elsewhere, somewhere where you would have got what you wanted. But instead you were tricked and deceived. They used deception to, to, to deprive you of everything you had to offer. Because it made them feel powerful. It made them feel like they were in control. They love to evoke certain emotions within you. Especially emotions that they can't feel. But they can experience, vi experience it vicariously through you. Narcissists need to feel like they are in control of you and they do that by manipulating your emotions. If they can influence your feelings and behaviours, it makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they're in control. They are predators and they have a lot of experience in doing this. They've had a lot of practice. So they already know what they need to do to get a certain response out of you. They are expert manipulators. They play in the mind. Your mind is their playground. And if they can push your buttons and get their desired reaction out of you. They feel like they've got you. They feel like they're in control. They don't attach to you, but they want you to attach to them. They want you to be emotionally invested in them so that they can control you. They want to be the puppet master. They want to pull the strings. Because that then compensates for their feelings of insecurity and instability. It stabilizes their irregulated emotional state and makes them feel like they're in control. When you know that you are dealing with a narcissist, you need to learn how to control your emotions. If you don't learn how to do that, the narcissist will control your emotions for you.
the narcissist needs you to be like an open book. They need you to be completely free from mystery or concealment. Where it is easy to know what you are thinking and feeling. Because that is their supply. That is what makes them feel like they're in control of you. But when you stop reacting to the narcissist, it makes them very confused. They may try different hooks to try to get a response out of you. But if nothing is working, they are left powerless. They don't know what to do. When you act like a grey rock. When you become uninteresting and unresponsive. It drives them insane. Because you're not feeding their needs for drama and attention. It leaves them hungry for more. It makes them feel very uncomfortable when they cannot get a reaction out of you. They see it as an offence. And they will either discard you or plot to take revenge on you. You cannot be open around a narcissist. You cannot connect to them. You cannot be emotionally vulnerable. Because they only see that as a weakness. They see it as something to exploit and take advantage of. They don't see it as something that deserves compassion or respect. So you need to be unreachable to the narcissist. You need to distance yourself emotionally. Although they may see that as an offence. They may see it as an insult. They can't be around someone who doesn't think that they're relevant or significant. That they're attractive or desirable. They need people to feed their egos and regulate their sense of self-importance. They need people to make them feel powerful and in control. If they can't get a reaction out of you, they will continue to push and provoke you. Especially if they've seen you react to them before. At some point they will be forced to accept that their game just isn't going to work on you anymore. But that doesn't mean they're just going to move on with their lives. They have no life to move on to. The narcissist's entire life is a game of their own making. And it is a game that they can never win. Which is why they will play it until the end of time. The game never ends. They just find other participants. Thank you for watching. 
I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coachnetnarksurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.